All right, y'all, another video for you. It's something I forgot in the video prior about the psyops of my youth. This one was nuts. And I don't even think it was intentionally set on them. I think this was actually their nature. And these children did what they did, or these kids did what they did because they were cruel at this age. So what happened was when I was in fourth grade, we were definitely learning about slavery. We were learning about um, the 1800s and the 1700s, supposedly in America and the state of the state of affairs. And I don't think we had gotten in uh, the lesson book to this word quite yet, but these children seized on it. And these children, if you knew them in my neighborhood and you were my age, you knew they were pretty rough. They were the twin tyrants, um, both, you know, standard jock types. And I've forgiven them for what they've done. And I, I, I look beyond that time now. But when I do look back, it is pretty scary to think of the kind of mindset that created this, this hyper competitive I want to own all, or I think myself better than anybody else. This kind of, uh, this kind of, um, life-size playground that we live on where there's a handful of people that get access to everything where everybody deserves the same even access. And that's obviously heaven and balance, right? So, these children, they, they learned this word lackey, and then they returned to school the following day. And they had a few cronies that went along with it and, and, and claimed they were indeed their lackeys. They, they were playing their lackeys. And then they were recruiting other people, other students, at lunchtime and during recess to be lackeys themselves. They asked me, hey... Do you want to be a lackey? Which was weird. It's not, it wasn't just like this assumption, you are my lackey. And then they started doing that to the ones that were already decidedly being lackeys. And it was this strange little play that went on. But I could see the psychosis in these people's minds when they were conducting it. What in the world? Why would you ever want anybody to be your slave? It's, it's perverse, it's evil, it's this VIP clubbyism that I've never understood my whole life and have been pointing at and going, why does this exist? And it's just this, they're born evil. Um, I'll never call them terrors because they obviously have time to repent. And these children, they didn't, they, 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 we, did, we didn't really ever get along that well, to be honest. Um, but we things mellowed out after this, like sh this this fourth grade, this experience of the lackeys was a fever pitch of their rough behavior towards myself and others. But I felt like I was particularly targeted living nearby them. And, um, it is just a sickening time. So, yeah, I can, I can uh, vouch for anybody who's also had really rough people in their lives from a young age that left impressions that are seemingly lifelong of how how cruel children, how cruel people can be, and how we have to be vigilant about this kind of stuff. Thankfully, this, this activity, I believe it was contained within the day. It, but it felt like it took a long time for this, for like the, author, the authority, whatever the teachers on staff at the moment to um to clean things up here and, and ref send these children to the office i think they ended up going to the office but it, it was it, it felt like it took way too long it felt like if they did go to the office it wasn't that serious and i will never forget the lunchroom that day and how in the feeling i felt and the look in their eye and this is the kind of stuff as i as i stated earlier that we need to completely quell from this plane. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And I, I feel for you if you have a ch children that are going through this 
or if you yourself have went through this because it is not fair. These thoughts are screwed up and we need to bite this bite this uh, as soon as possible. We need to give give justice to this idea of true equanimity. All right. Peace out, y'all.